Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for a new video. Today, we are just doing some track prep on the NC Miata. We've got our track night in America tomorrow at Eagles Canyon Raceway. I've driven there once before, so this is my second time going up there to actually drive on the track. Super excited, also nervous because the last time we drove the Miata there, we ended up with a check engine light for a P002 or something like that. It was something with the VVT actuator solenoid and we got it fixed luckily. But with that, it's time to go test it out again. I don't know how long the car was down on power when I went the last time. Um, it felt slow uh, after the first you know, couple runs. So I'm excited to get back out there and give it another shot. There are a few things that we need to check first on the NC Miata. It's pretty well sorted. Um, I don't drive it too often, at least I haven't lately. It's been cold, it's been raining. So it's kind of stayed in the garage. Not a ton has changed since the last time we took the car to the track. But the few things that we have done since the track day are the Touchstone Racing Brake Master Cylinder Stopper, We've got the fender vents, which probably aren't gonna really do too much as far as I can tell on the track. We've also put in the new personal steering wheel with the hub and everything like that. And we've also gone back to the stock shifter. So definitely a couple feely, touchy feely things that we're going to uh, see about on the track. Um, I already had the seat in it last time, so that's good there. So it'll be interesting to see kind of how the new steering wheel feels with the OEM shifter out on the track. We did also add that aero panel or aero tray underneath the car, but I don't think that's really gonna make like a huge difference as far as my driving is concerned. I'm very much a novice at track days. I, you know, I'm not super experienced, I'm still learning. So I'm in the novice group, gonna just go out and practice really. I'm not gonna be trying to set new lap times or anything like that. I don't even track my lap times. I just wanna get a feel for the car. I wanna get a feel for driving on the track. And yeah, so very much a novice and we need to fill out our tech sheet and get prepped for the track day tomorrow. SCCA provides you with a track night in America tech sheet. It's really easy to fill out if you haven't seen one of these before. You just fill out your car info and then you go through each little section here and double check things on your car. It makes things go quicker when you get there and it makes the inspection go by quicker, which is good. So we're gonna be going through this list, checking off all the boxes that we need to check off. So we'll be good to go for tomorrow and then I'll show you packing up the car and everything that I bring at least on a track day, autocross day, um, just some simple tools and things like that that you might wanna take along. So one of the first things that we're gonna start with are the wheels and tires. So first things first, I'm going to double check all of my torque specs on the wheels. And uh, I looked online and, and people say, you know, 80 to 85 pounds. So I'm going to just set my torque wrench to 82. are good obviously I'm gonna do the rest of the car I'm just gonna show you this one wheel so next thing we want to do is inspect the tires make sure there's no cracking no nails in the tires or anything like that these tires are pretty good still um, they're not very old and like I said I don't drive too hard on them all looks good next we're gonna check the brakes brakes should also be pretty good yeah, there's plenty of life left in the pads. There's a certain limit on how low you want your brake pads to be, but mine are really good still, so that is all good there. And while you're down here, you wanna give your wheel a little shake. No play in the wheel or anything like that. Double check your coilovers and suspension so there's no leaks or anything like that. Everything is looking good. So this wheel and tire is done. Uh, suspension should be good on this uh, part of the car, this corner. Um, and ride height is where I want it to be. So I'm gonna go around, check the other three tires and wheels, and we'll move on to the next step. So 
all of our fluids are good. Our battery is secure with the positive contact covered. Uh, everything intake wise is good. Spark plug should be still good. All of our wiring is in good shape. Full exhaust system is good. I haven't noticed any leaks or anything like that. And I know I put all the bolts as tight as they could go. Brake lights work, headlights work, turn signals work. Our seat is secure, steering wheel is secure, seat belt is good. With the track night that we're going to, if we have the factory roll hoops, we have to have the top up, or I would need a hard top and have that roll bar installed. I would have done the roll bar install already if I could, but I was waiting for this track day because I have to have the soft top up. Everything inside is good, so our tech sheet is all filled out. The only thing I need to do is get the helmet sticker, which is something that they give you at the event. Our tech sheet is all good. We can load this up. Next thing that we need to do is go through all of our tools, figure out what we're gonna take with us. So I'm gonna show you what I take, all of my tools, all of my equipment, and all that. So let's get to the tool selection. the tools we are going to bring. So we've got extra fluids, coolant, and oil. We've got jack stands. We've got our coilover adjustment tools, a rag, I mean metric sockets and wrenches and all sorts of little stuff. So this should definitely get us through. I've also got my helmet, can't forget that. But this should get us through a track day that's not super intense. Um, we've also got my air pump. So hopefully we don't need to use any of this. You might be asking why I didn't check my tire pressures yet. It's best to set your tire pressure cold and I'm gonna be driving there. So I'm gonna get there, let the car cool down for a little while, and then we will get the tires adjusted there. But I think otherwise we are all good. I just have to get all my camera equipment set up. I think we're good to go. I am going to get all this packed up into the trunk and then we can go ahead and wrap this video up. trunk is full, we've got everything in. These little, uh, what do you call them, milk crates, egg crates, whatever you wanna call these, they fit perfectly in the back of an NC. Um, so they kinda hold pretty much everything that you need as well. So that is all good. And now we are ready to go racing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, seeing kind of how I'm preparing for a second track day. The same kind of thing applies for autocross for me. You know, I don't take it too seriously. It's really just for fun. So I just wanna have everything at the ready in case something goes wrong. Fingers crossed that it doesn't, but we're ready to go. So uh, you're watching this video Wednesday. Track day was yesterday. Go follow me on Instagram at Colored and Light and you'll get all the updates and photos um, before anyone else does because the video for the track day is going to be coming out this Sunday. So stay tuned for that. And as always, if you are new to the channel, be sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I will see you on the track.